Digilent is proud to introduce the Cerebot MC7 microcontroller development board. The MC7 is based around Microchip's powerful DSPIC33 digital signal controller and is an ideal embedded motor control and general purpose microcontroller experimentation platform for academics and hobbyists. The Cerebot MC7's DSPIC33 digital signal controller features 128 kilobytes of flash program memory and 16 kilobytes internal SRAM as well as numerous on-chip peripherals, including an advanced 8-channel motor control PWM unit, an enhanced CAN controller, two serial peripheral interfaces, timer counters, serial interface controllers, an analog-to-digital converter, and more. In addition, the Cerebot MC7 features four half-bridge circuits that are rated for 24 volts at up to 5 amps. These half-bridges can each be used to control two brush DC motors, two bipolar stepper motors, one brushless DC motor, or one unipolar stepper motor. An onboard 5-volt 4-amp switching regulator with an input voltage up to 24 volts simplifies operation of the board, enabling it to operate from a single power supply in embedded applications such as robotics. The Cerebot MC7 also has eight RC servo connectors and three connectors for Digilent PMOD peripheral modules. Digilent manufactures a wide range of PMODs, including H-bridges, A to D and D to A converters, joysticks, buttons, LEDs and other I.O., accelerometers, light detectors and other sensors, Bluetooth and wireless interfaces, and much more. Finally, the Cerebot MC7 board has two push buttons and four LEDs for user I.O., as well as connections for two I-squared C buses, one of which contains an integrated serial EEPROM device. For programming and configuration, the Cerebot MC7 can be used with Microchip's freely downloadable MPLAB development environment. Using MPLAB, you'll be able to program and debug your designs, all within the MPLAB IDE. To learn more about the Cerebot MC7, as well as Digilent's full line of microcontroller boards, FPGA boards, peripherals, educational materials, support documents, and more, please visit the Digilent website. Thanks.